what are they attached to now? They are still attached to the nucleus of the solar system, but the nucleus does not just contain the sun anymore. It contains a whole lot of other stars. It contains some very large ones. The blue one and the larger one we saw on July 23rd, they are extremely large. That one was larger than the sun. So we have stars like that in uh, at the center of or in the nucleus of this planetary system. The planets are now no longer just attached to the sun. They attach to the whole group or the center of mass or whatever you want, you can call it. But a whole group of stars is now in the nucleus. And that's what it shows. In other words, it corroborates the fact that we have more than one star in the nucleus of our solar system now. No, your fantasies corroborate absolutely fuck all. Look at the size of blue. And yet I haven't been able to see it yet. And then there's the enormous size of the other planetary body that you're saying there. And that's invisible too. And yet I can see the sun with its sunspot quite clearly. And I will be taking photographs of the sun again today. There is no sun shield, there is nothing hiding it. So please try and explain why we can't see your fantasy bodies around the sun. You can't. You're talking utter shite. And now everybody, please brace yourself for the biggest stupidity from three people you've ever fucking heard in your life. That's the only way. There's a whole lot of other stuff out there, man. I mean, um, yeah, it's almost like our inner solar system is being invaded. And um, two days ago, uh, one of my other subscribers who has some pretty sophisticated software, uh, planetary software, and um, just before we were ready to go on a live stream the other day, he sent me some concerning messages, and uh, he was looking at some views. I believe it was Neptune and Uranus. And uh, what he was trying to show me in these these computerized pictures of these planets, uh, he basically said that it was almost like they were being ripped apart. And, you know, he was super concerned, and I didn't have a lot of time to discuss it with him. So I told him, I said, well, look, I don't really know what you mean. Send me a couple of screenshots of that. And... Um, yeah, they were pretty wild looking. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get in contact with him tomorrow and I'm going to see, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm going to see if he can get a better explanation to me or for me what I was looking at. Because again, it, it was, it was some really um, kind of really scientific looking software that, that he was using. And, uh, you know, if there's something else out there that's further than our inner solar system, I mean, hell, are, are we looking at something else from deeper space coming in? Yeah. Also? I think, Scott, it is likely that these objects are still coming in. We have a whole lot of them here, but I think they are, they, they may possibly be quite a quite a few that are still coming in so they at different distances from the sun uh, it could be that si that some went by saturn and or neptune and these planets have a lot of gas um, these objects may have attached themselves magnetically to these planets and they would start withdrawing uh, material and uh, from them because that's what they do as they connect magnetically to these objects so that may be what is happening hmm. you know what i'm going to do here real quick just give me a second um i'm going to go ahead and screen share these these photographs i mean again we didn't have a lot of time to talk so um it was hard for me to understand what he was actually showing me 
Can you guys uh, can you guys see this? Not um, yet. Let me see if I did I screen share that properly. No, you're not screen sharing, Scott. Oops. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh let's see. That is Neptune. That's Neptune, huh? That's Neptune. What kind of a but what are we how are we looking at it? I don't know. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he, he, he caught me right whenever, right whenever we were getting ready to go on a live stream, like five minutes before we were ready to go on the air. And he sent me a couple of these images, you know, and, uh, he's pretty bright guy and, uh, very in depth into astronomy. And I said, well, what am I looking at here? And his last quote was, it seems, and it, it seems, or it looks like, that Neptune and Uranus are being ripped apart. Well, so, I don't know. It still looks spherical, but we see these um, like point sources on it, on the surface of the planet. There are three of them, right? Yeah. So okay. What are those? I'm, I'm not are, that that could be points where these objects may be connecting to them. It they almost look like. Um, if it was the sun, it may have looked like sunspots on the sun, isn't it? Now this was a this was another uh, interesting. This was another screenshot that he sent to me, mm -hmm. and again, you know, I mean, this is. Um, I didn't have a chance to talk with him further to discuss what he was trying to show me, but I'll be in touch with him tomorrow uh, to to find out mm -hmm. what he was trying to show me. It looks I like vibrations reacting with one another. Yeah, it looks like almost like when you drop a stone in a pond and then you see um, exactly. the waves coming from the point source. Yeah, exactly. You see like two or three ponds interacting with one another. Yes. Effect. Interference patterns. Mm. Yeah, he said, that, now this is, this is the shot that he sent me from Uranus. <laughs> this is the shot from Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's it's pronounced Uranus, but that's funny because we can always say, you know, it's uh, always swamp gas coming out of Uranus. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. This so, this object doesn't quite look spherical to me. My goodness. Well, again, welcome to the electric universe. And yeah. someone said that what we're actually looking at is a standing wave. Mm. Well, in 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 the uh. The uh, Dr. Walter Russell model that mm -hmm. what we're seeing is the particles are the can where a standing wave we got two waves on the same frequency and the same pattern. Um, like it, like I said, you would get that same wave if you drop two pot two two equally sized stones at the same time in the same pond, mm -hmm. and wave the way that reacts at the center where they hit each other is where the is is where the particles are. Mm. Yes. Where yeah, that's interesting, yes. Um, you know, in, in my last article that I wrote yes, yesterday, um, I, I was looking at these um, stellar cores, and I saw how they were connecting to each other. And they were connecting to each other, not in any haphazard form, like you would expect if it was a gravitational attraction, uh, interaction that was attracting them to each other. They were connecting on the side so that the hole in the cloud could always be seen. And then they were connecting to each other cloud to cloud. And from that, I could immediately see that the shape 
um, they are conforming to the toroidal shape. So they have the magnetic fields, of course, it's toroidal. But the structure of the object is all toroidal. That's why they have this toroidal envelope around them. And you can see the two sides of the core um, on either side. Um, so maybe we should go through that document sometime, Scott, so that I can show the people. Do I, um, do I have it? Yes, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our three resident experts proving themselves to be utterly as thick as fuck. Scott, Claudia and Jeff Spider-Man P. You are an embarrassment to the human race. The images you're looking at come from a program called Stellarium, which is an astronomy program for looking up the stars and constellations and the planets on your laptop or your PC. They are not showing Neptune or Uranus falling to pieces or having any weird electric universe effects. You complete and utter fucking morons. You should be ashamed of yourselves. And if you're getting confused about what's reality and what's on a bloody computer, you want to shut the fuck up, sell your computers and fuck off. And just to help you out, here's a couple of pictures of Neptune looking rather wonderful at the beginning of this month, you fucking idiots. And I shall also demonstrate Stellarium and that they've just used Neptune without any skin. And the same for Uranus. You bloody muppets. Thank <laughs> you. 